Hello, welcome to another beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Tony Abba and it is my pleasure to say welcome to the program. This is a daily devotional program that is brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today we are looking at this topic, Do Not Pass Me By. We know each and every one of us is expecting one favor from God and even our neighbors. And we pray every day, fervently, that God should remember us as we go about doing good to others. Let him not pass us by. That has been our prayer. And it is our prayer that the good Lord will definitely not pass us by as he goes about distributing good things to people. To guide us in today's reflection, we have Reverend Father Kelvin Aneto. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God and Father, we thank you once more for the gift of another day. There is nothing we can do without you. May your Holy Spirit inspire us this day to be able to recognize opportunities for salvation. May your Holy Spirit lead us to be very hospitable to one another through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I want us to reflect on the theme, Do Not Pass Me By. And for our scriptural reflection, let us look at the book of Genesis chapter 18, from verse 1 to verse 13. From verse 1 to verse 13. We can also extend it to 15. Yahweh appeared to him at the oak of Mamre, while he was sitting by the entrance of the tent during the hottest part of the day. He looked up, and there he saw three men standing near him. As soon as he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them and bowed to the ground. My Lord, he said, if I find favor with you, please do not pass your servant by. Let me have a little water brought, and you can wash your feet and have a rest under the tree. Let me fetch a little bread, and you can refresh yourselves before going further. Now that you have come, now that you have come in your servant's direction, they replied, do as you say. My dear friends, I want us to focus on this story and the significance it bears us in our various daily struggles as Christians. We must be able to recognize opportunities for salvation. We must be able to recognize opportunities for direction. Abraham is resting in the very hot afternoon and three strangers pass by. And Abraham runs to them and invites them into his tent, hospitality, to be able to gain certain favors. We must be ready to be hospitable. We must be ready to be accommodating. One of the problems we have in our modern world today is that there is hardly any tolerance, especially uh, between people of different denominations, or of different faiths. Is this really the mind of God? Let us learn something from the attitude of Abraham in today's scriptural passage. It was going to inconvenience Abraham to provide for these three strangers. It was going to inconvenience his wife, who would of course have to make preparations to you know, bring water and food and all of that. But Abraham looked beyond that. He took it upon himself to accommodate strangers who were trekking by in the hot sun. My dear friends, as Abraham struggled to do this, in verse 9 of Genesis 18, they said to him, Where is your wife, Sarah? She is in the tent, he replied. Then his guest said, I shall come back to you next year. And then your wife, Sarah, 
will have a son. Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, well on in years, and Sarah had ceased to have her monthly periods. So Sarah laughed to herself, thinking, now that I am past the age of childbearing, and my husband is an old man, it's pleasure to come my way again. My dear friends, we must understand that it was because Abraham refused to allow these strangers pass him by that blessing came directly to his house. We remember the communion song. Pass me not a gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by. Savior, 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 hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. But it's not enough to sing the song. We must practice attitude that make this song reality, realities in our lives. We pray for the grace to be able to become hospitable, accommodating, tolerant people, for the grace to be able to extend compassion to everyone we meet. Through Christ our Lord, amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless you today. Grandfather Kelvin Aneto is of the Catholic Diocese of Uromi in Edo State, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe we have, been, we have been inspired by his reflection and always pray that the good Lord will not pass you by in whatever things he is doing to people. If you have questions and you want to share with us, please do not forget to send us a short message on the numbers displayed on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com. It is our prayer that God will not pass us by when he comes to distribute his blessings. As we go out today, please reach out to somebody who is in need of help and the good Lord will bless you richly. Bye for now and have a lovely day. Oh, man.